I hope you guys will join me as I build this really super cool tapering jig. The jig is completely adjustable to a variety of different angles. And once you find the angle that you're happy with, simply tighten down these two knobs. Once your work is in the jig, you can secure it with the two toggle clamps. For the base of the jig, I'm going to use some 3 quarter inch plywood that I had laying around the shop, and we'll cut this to about 30 inches at the table saw sled. For the fence for this jig, I'm just going to use a piece of stud grade 2x4. Before I can attach this fence to my jig, I need to flatten one face and square up one edge. Now that I have a nice flat face and a square edge, I need to cut this fence to width. And when I cut it to final width, I need to make sure that I have enough room for my toggle clamp. So I'd like to have the fence on this jig be adjustable. So in order to do that, I need to create a slot, one on each side of this jig, so it can receive a lag bolt. In order to get the two slots for my fence, I'm going to use my router table, and I'm going to do this in two passes. My first pass, I'm going to go halfway through the plywood, and on the second pass, we'll punch all the way through. The next thing I need to do is create a recess for the top of the carriage bolt. To accomplish that, I switch to a half inch radius spiral bit. Because the head of the bolt actually measures 0.6 inches instead of a half inch, which is what I routed my groove for, I need to push my fence back by about 50 thou, make another pass, and then move the fence forward by about 50 thou to make the second pass. So I made a recess and a chunk of scrap wood for the nut, and this will serve as the knob which will tighten down the fence. At the drill press, I created a slot at one end of the fence by drilling a series of holes. Now I'll just clean this slot up with a sharp chisel. Now we can slide the fence on and then attach the toggle clamps. The two toggle clamps just get screwed into four pre-drilled holes. In order to get a little bit more holding power, I'm going to take a little scrap of wood and glue it onto the back of the jig. Because we made this rear hole elongated, as we change the angle of the tapering jig, the bolt is free to move within the elongated slot. So after you have the angle of your taper adjusted, all you need to do is tighten down the two knobs Place your workpiece in the jig and lock down the two toggle clamps. Okay, so that's all I've got today, guys. Thanks for watching. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, please consider subscribing by clicking on this link. And if you'd like, you can also watch my last project by clicking on this link down here. Thanks again, guys.